right. Right. All right. So I'll, I'll show them. clobbered the giants. I got held up at the track by a bunch of four-legged thieves. And Belda had decided to put an ad in the yellow pages, which would probably bring in every bum who could walk with his fingers. At least I had a handful of beautiful dolls. Am I interrupting something? Not really. I hardly know him. There's a new client out there. Somebody's found our listing. Already? What's it under? Detective agencies. <laughs> Should be pest control. I still say we don't need it. Well, we do if we want to have business to pay for the new computer. Well, the private eye should stay private. Her name is Ruth Baylor. Be nice. I know. She's a paying customer. Mrs. Baylor. Mr. Hammer. I need your help. Well, come in. Sit down. What can I do for you? My husband, Sam. I don't know how to say this. It's all right. Take your time. My husband, Sam. He worked on the docks. He was killed. Killed? A mugging. They say it was street gangs. Sam was killed for a few lousy dollars. I'm sorry, Mrs. Banner. Have you talked to the police about this? Oh, I've already reported it. That's not why I'm here. It's Sam's pension. You see, I haven't been able to get it from the union. And I need it to bury him. It sounds like you need a lawyer, not a private investigator. But to sue takes so long. No one listens to an old woman. But if you could talk to them for me. But don't you have any children? We lost our boy in Vietnam. How much money are we talking about? $2,200. There was more, but Sam had to pull most of it out when I was sick. I can live on the Social Security, but the funeral expenses are... I hope you understand. I don't want anything that isn't coming to me. But Sam worked so hard. Okay, Mrs. Baylor. I'll talk to the union. About your fee? Oh, I usually let Velda handle my fee. Velda! What's our fee these days? It's usually $20 an hour. Well, this is ladies' day. Let's make it 10 bucks an hour, okay? How long do you think it will take? About half an hour. No raise this week.
can't you read? You and your members aren't allowed back here. It's all right. I'm not a member. They told you we were closed. You're open now. What are you guys doing, roasting marshmallows? Hey, wait a minute, buddy. I want to see Sam Baylor's files. Why? The union owes him 2,200 bucks, and I want to collect it. Here they are. On behalf of Multinational Assets Control, I'm exercising our right to terminate the union management of the pension fund. What? Who are you? As per paragraph 9 of the limited trust agreement, I'm the new manager, Kathleen Wilkins. This is an order for the seizure of all assets and records. Well, go ahead. Up is up. with the union, are you? Sweetheart, I don't even own a union suit. My name is Mike Hammer. I'm a private investigator. I was up there trying to collect some money for a friend. Well, Mr. Hammer, my company, Multinational Assets, is the name trustee of the pension fund. Can they come up with 2,200 bucks? It's a little more complicated than that. Management of the fund was signed back to the union treasurer. As the fund's auditor, I advised against it. Good advice. You should have taken it. Who's the treasurer? I'm going to find that out. There's a lot more at stake here than $2,200. Not for me, and not for my client. Well, look, maybe we can help each other. I doubt it. Thank you, pal. Keep the change. Look, nobody well, placing the cheap seats on this one, Mr. Hammer. You won't find that money by yourself. <laughs> I needed a fresh place to start, so I went to Sam Baylor's wake. Maybe in death I could find a new beginning. Mrs. Baylor's right inside. Thanks. How's she holding up? As well as can be expected. Mr. Hammer. Mrs. Baylor. How did things go? Well, I'm afraid the it's going to take a little longer than half an hour. Oh, excuse me. Sam Baylor was a stubborn, hard-nosed, gold-bricking union man. Anybody says different is as big a liar as he was. His wife said that the union tried to cheat him out of his pension. Do you know anything about that? This is the pension right here. A whole lot of nothing. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get Sam a part of it back. You ain't getting nothing from Victor Panacetti. Victor Panacetti? Yeah. He runs a restaurant uptown. He's supposed to be running the pension plan. He bled it dry. 
Most of the long timers were on the old plan. He closed it down for reorganization. Sam said they stole it, and he could prove it. Make waves like that. A man could wind up dead. Do you think Sam was murdered? Sam had a problem with his mouth. He couldn't keep it shut proper. Victor Panacetti had a place on 8th Avenue called Vic's Restaurant. The rats that hung out there were not the kind that could be stopped by the Board of Health. <laughs> Hello, Hammond. I'm Victor Panacetti. I've been expecting you. I can see that. Nice dogs. Is that training or does it run in the family? <laughs> you can't breed loyalty. No, you gotta buy it. Right to the point, huh? I like that. I don't like pressure, Hannah. And I don't like complication. And you're giving me both by interfering with official union business. Like embezzlement. You know how I spell relief? M-O-N-E-Y. Please, uh. Sam Baylor lost his pension when your fund folded. I want $2,200 for his widow. See, the fund you're talking about, I was an investor. I lost, too. Huh. I'd pass the hat for you, but I'm afraid I'd never get it back. Well, look, I might even help the widow out with a couple of hundred, huh? Hey, I don't take checks. <coughs> Especially yours. You stay with that attitude and you'll get mashed like a penny on a subway rail. Now, is that nice? Everybody listens. Theater here on A and E. The subway ride back to my office gave me a chance to catch up on the latest graffiti. So far, I'd covered a lot of ground, but I still hadn't come anywhere near Mrs. Baylor's $2,200. There you go. Oh, there's a Kate Wilkins in your office. Ever since you put us in the book, anybody walks right in. Be pleasant. I already accepted her retainer. What are you going to do after this? Start a new wing? You got a prejudice against money? Only what it does to people. I can understand. I don't like everyone I work with either. What does that mean? We're working together? Velda told me about Sam Baylor. I got some information you might be interested to know. Yeah? Like what? Like the union has no assets. What happened to him? Here's my guess. You got a dollar? Yeah. Give it to me. This is currency. I give it to the bank. They loan this dollar, maybe two or three more, to somebody else. That's credit, real wealth. With the credit, they can transfer more money in 30 seconds and can be moved in cash in a year. I'm not chasing numbers, just cash. So am I. But I have about 48 hours to cut through a tangle of blind companies, dummy accounts, and deaf authorities before it disappears forever. How much money are you talking about? 22 million, maybe more. The entire fund. Is my 2200 in there? You bet. I'll help you get back your 2200. You helped me get past the muscle guys like Panacetti. Victor Panacetti. You know him? We had lunch together. That was Pat on the phone. Barrington wants to see you right away. Thanks. Well, Miss Wilkins, it's like this. 
I'm in this because of a sweet lady named Ruth Baylor, Sam Baylor's widow. The money that's coming to her and how she got to be a widow in the first place. Those are my terms. You agree to them, we can work together. He always like that? You should see him when he's upset. Me a pain. What's going on? I'm a busy man, and I don't have time to babysit him, which is what I'm forced to do when a man like Victor Panacetti keeps calling me. So take a vacation. I'd like to. But what is the big deal about Panacetti anyway? He's a very powerful man. Oh, he's a sleaze ball. I'm not talking about the quality of his character. I'm talking about his influence in this town. And semantics aside, you have a knack for rubbing the wrong people the wrong way. Yeah, well, it makes for a great fire. I should do it more often. Listen. Panacetti's two goons tried to break my back down at the Union Hall. They may be the same guys who murdered Sam Baylor. Mike, what's this about a murder rap? Sam Baylor was found on the waterfront with his pockets cut open. I get ten muggies like this every night. I'm telling you, Pat, no. it was a sanctioned hit. Says no, who? It's in the air, hovering over the pigeon, but like a large radioactive cloud. Come on, without proof. Hold hold what do you want me to do about this, huh? Bring no, up the streets. Bring in Panacetti's people. Oh, oh yeah. you got names, huh? Panacetti's got a whole army out there. You won't have any trouble finding them. They are very well marked. Apparently, you didn't hear me. I said, don't call this number. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hofstetter. I had no idea. Forgive me. It would be my pleasure. Who was that? This is Mildred Hofstetter. For you. Who's Mildred Hofstetter? Now that figures. I've been trying to get to meet her for years. She calls to see you, and you don't even know who she is. Well, tell me who she is, and I'll introduce her to you. She just happens to be one of the most powerful people in this town. She's the executive director of several major corporations, including multinational assets control. She owns three department stores, two square blocks in midtown Manhattan, and a dozen banks. Think she's good for 2200 bucks? Mildred Hofstetter lived on Long Island. Or maybe she owned it. I'd never seen a castle before, but this was what they were supposed to look like. And the queen was receiving. Hello, I'm Mike Hammer. I'm here to see Mrs. Hofstetter. Madam is expecting you. May I take your hat and coat? No, thanks. Mr. Hammer. How good to meet you. Mrs. Hofstetter? Kate's been telling me all about you. <laughs> the special prosecutor can be something of a leaden ass, can't he? Well, you certainly got the lead out of him. Well, I was pressed for time. I couldn't very well let Kate hire you and then lose you to the New York Police Department. Yes, Miss Wilkins works for me. Oh, really? Brandy, Mr. Hammer? You look like a brandy man to me. Oh, no, thanks. I'll take a beer. Reuben? Bring Mr. Hammer a glass of beer. Save the glass, Reuben. It's a nice collection. You interested in numismatics? Numis what? Old coins. Oh. Many people have fortunes, but nobody has coins like these. Take this one, for example. 276 BC. The Emperor Claudius the Elder, a despotic tyrant struck this coin to commemorate the glorious victory of General Marcus Gracchus's legions. There are only two in the world. Do you have any idea how much this is worth? You wouldn't want to use it to make a phone call. <laughs> Gold coins. So intriguing. Real money is hard to find. It always ends up in somebody's pocket. Sometimes you with it. Mrs. Hofstetter. I'm only looking for Sam Baylor's money. $2,200. Of course, Mr. Hammer. Of course. But altruism can be an expensive habit. Sometimes the young overlook the obvious. The world is filled with wretched and deceitful people. Watch yourself, Mr. Hammer. Follow the money. My money. I approve your choice, Kate. Strength to your arm, Mr. Hammer. 
You too. Bring me back my investment. For somebody who's out a few million bucks, she seems to live pretty well. Businesses go bankrupt, but the clever business people don't. It's a new game. Racket, not a game. Panacetti said that the money went to the Atlas Trust Company. I traced the wire transfers. Atlas Trust was just a brass plaque company. You mean it doesn't exist? No, it's just a name on the wall in the Cayman Islands. They folded and the money evaporated. So where did they move their assets? Good question. You'll learn fast. If Atlas Trust is just a name, there's still got to be somebody behind it. Who runs the company? A man named James Vernon. He's a very elusive figure. He lives on his boat. There's a rumor he's due in New York, so I have a tracer on him. Find out everything you can about a guy named James Vernon. James Vernon. Should I know the name? Not unless you live on the shady side of Dun and Bradstreet. Any new clients the last hour? I uh, know, just a new plant. How's Kate Wilkins working out? Okay. I just don't know if I can trust her. I'll talk to you later. This is driving me nuts. I don't understand. That it is easy. Sam had his money here. The pension fund. Right now. Panacetti takes the pension fund money and he invests it someplace offshore. Brass plaque company. Correct. Now the Atlas Trust Company goes belly up. And the money disappears. Wait a minute. That means that Panacetti and his friend Vernon are bankrupt. But the money is out there somewhere. Sam and the other pensioners are broken. Right. Sam is dead. Oh. So you think there's motive in there for murder one? Mike, even you don't know what you just told me. What about those two guys that I bounced? Alibi's up to here. Nail Panacetti and I can collect Sam's 2200. How are you gonna collect something you can't even find, huh? Hey, come out a buck. It's for the last frosting. Mike, the is on the phone again. Thanks, honey. Good news or bad news? Your man Vernon lives on a yacht, the Columbiana, South American Registry. He seldom sets foot on shore. He's at sea the year round. That's good news? I save that. The ship is currently anchored in New York Harbor. Now that's good news. deck on up. I wanted to find out if he was hiding anything below decks. Is this the Columbiana? Yeah. Is James Vernon here? That's none of your business. Please. Hey! Investment is a gamble. There are always more losers than winners. Casinos don't give money back. Embezzlement isn't a game of chance. I can force a settlement. There's nothing to settle. I have lawyers working on it now. Subpoenas, legal depositions. I'm going to stick to this boat like a barnacle. There's no port in the world that is able to exclude barnacles. Take your best shot, Wilkins. I like heat. It helps keep my tan. I'm glad to hear you like the heat, Vernon. Who the hell are you? Call. Call the Harbor Patrol. While well, you're at it, Carl, you might call the blood bank. Mike, what are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. I came here to talk about the Atlas Trust Fund. What are you doing here? Fella, you got 10 seconds to get off this vessel. You've got nine to come up with Sam Baylor's $2,200. Mike, please let me handle this. Why? I listen to you. I want to hear him. I couldn't help you even if I wanted to. That would be admitting that I had some responsibility. Maybe you do. How did the union funds disappear? I have no idea. You got any idea who murdered Sam Baylor? Who's Sam Baylor? Look, this isn't going to help us any. 
That's the Harbor Patrol. If they have to carry you off this craft, it's going to be to jail. If they have to carry you over here, pal, it'll be in a plastic bag. Mike, you don't understand what's going on. Believe me. Why should I? I wanted to think I could trust Kate, but it didn't help that she was in all the right places at all the wrong times. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Baylor. Mike Hammer. Listen, there's no easy way to say this, but I think your husband died because he had evidence of pension fraud. Did he ever talk to you about that? Not really. I was just putting some of Sam's papers and things away in the basement. Would you mind if I had a look at some of those papers? Not at all. All right, good. Listen, I'll be over there in a few minutes. Uh, don't talk to anybody and lock your front door, okay? Yes. had come for his widow. Fortunately, the only body that was left behind was one of theirs. Somebody could have saved themselves a lot of trouble if they'd just paid the $2,200. You would receive a citation for population control. You got it. My guess this is the same team that nailed Sam Baylor. Yeah, you might be right. Professional hitter, that's for sure. He carried no ID. Mike, we found this bug monitor in his pocket. Does it mean anything to you? Yeah. Means this guy was keeping tabs on Panacetti. Now, this partner's probably long gone by now. I'm going to put out an APB, see if I can find any sightings. I'll talk to you later. Okay, good. You know what getting old is, Mr. Hammer? Not letting go of things. Hanging on to memories. Turning your home into a museum instead of giving this stuff to folks who could use it. Miss Baylor, did Sam own a computer? 
Good Lord, no. Sam couldn't even use an adding machine. What'd you find? I'm not sure. I need to find somebody who can translate this into English. You mind if I take it? No. no. Thanks. I'll be in touch. <laughs> It was late at night and I was tired, but this was something that couldn't wait. Do you know what time it is? Time to prove you're on my side. These belong to Sam Baylor. I think somebody tried to kill his widow in order to get them. Why? You tell me. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. These are statements. The rest are fun records, accounting printouts. This is beautiful. What is? Sam Baylor deposited a few dollars a week for maybe 30 years with only one major withdrawal. His wife was sick. He withdrew a little money from his account to cover her medical expenses. Yeah, he took out $1,265. Right. And that left him with a balance of $2,300,412. What? It seems that at the exact moment that Sam Baylor made his withdrawal, his account number was being used to transfer over $2 million to 3BDT214. What's that? An account in the Bahamas. A guy sticks nickels and dimes into a pension fund for 30 years, then one day he finds himself with a balance of 2 million bucks. And the next day, he's dead. For the past six months, there have been wire transfers of over $2 million in and out of Sam Baylor's account. Now, you multiply that by 600 legitimate accounts, you've got a hell of a way to make money. Banks legally have to report all transfers over $10,000. The fund didn't, or I would have seen it earlier. 600 accounts, we're talking a billion dollars. But the 2,200 was calculated separately. That's why uh, none of the transactions showed up on any of his statements. No thanks. Until someone slipped up. Or I got too greedy. My guess is Panacetti. Remarkable work, Mr. Hammer. Kate was right to hire you. Protect her. When I make my inquiries, it's going to get very dangerous. Greed and desperation make violent companions. I can take care of myself. Don't worry, Mrs. Hofstetter. She's in good hands. The banks can't let a man like Vernon go down easily. It's too risky. The domino principle, plus the profit. Do you have any idea what the Swiss make on a $1 billion credit transaction? A quarter of a percent. That's two and a half million on a transaction that takes 29 seconds by computer. Well, you certainly have a way with numbers. Well, you certainly have a way with women. You mean Mrs. Hofstetter? Excuse me, Miss Wilkins. Is this Mr. Hammer? Yes. Some guy said it was important. Thanks. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, I'll check with you later. And listen, uh, keep your door locked. What's the matter? One of your dominoes is teetering. Panacetti seems a little nervous. He wants to talk to me. After my last visit with Victor Panacetti, I never thought I'd be welcome in his restaurant again. But his message that he wanted to see me made me think he was going to lay something on the table besides antipasto. Hey, 
Garcetti. Oh, Garcetti. Captain Pat Chambers, please. One moment, please. Captain Chambers. Pat. Yeah. Panacetti's dead. What? Since when? I don't know. How long does it take for a baked potato to get lukewarm? What? Victor Panacetti had been a man of high power and low connections. If somebody could kill him, who would they go for next? Theater here on A and E. I called Kate Wilkins a couple of times, but nobody answered. So I decided to stop by to see if everything was all right. It wasn't. and headed straight for Vernon's boat. I could use a little air and a lot of answers. Easy to see you go. The Bahamas are beautiful this time of year. I'll be back around. During hurricane season. Like you got a storm brewing right here. Hammer. Look, whatever it is, we can work this thing out. Like you work things out for Panacetti, huh? I don't kill people, Hammer. I kill companies. How would you like to kill some fish? Hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of me. It's going to cost you 2200 bucks. I don't carry cash. Oh, yeah. Simpson, work. Give me some money. All I've got is a couple of hundred. If you owe the man. Work. I never had more than cab money. 50 if that'll do. Do you have any money? On me? Come on, please. I'm a businessman. Nice ring, Vernon. Hey. Take your hands off that man. Sure. The coin on Vernon's ring gave me what I was looking for. There were only two like it in the entire world, and I knew where I could find the other one. I didn't expect to see you. No, I'm sure you didn't, Mrs. Hofstetter. I just thought I'd drop by and pick up Sam Baylor's $2,200. Those coins are extremely rare. I don't think you appreciate their value. Currency. I appreciate that. Kate taught me. Yes, she would. Believe me, her loss saddens me. But losing $22 million saddens you a lot more, doesn't it? Insignificant. But the accounts, 600 legitimate accounts through which I could move my money. A flow of money unobserved by governments, by investors, by competitors. A conduit through which I could ensure the secrecy of my financial transactions. I don't think you realize how valuable that is. I'm not too good with numbers, Mrs. Hofstetter, but I can count three people dead. Panacetti should never have allowed your Mr. Baylor to get to the records. Stupid, stupid men get greedy. Vernon should have denied Panacetti access. Couldn't keep his hands off the fund. Seems as if we're beyond negotiation, Mr. Hammer. 
You're not going to shoot me, Mrs. Hofstetter. That would be first-degree murder. That would put you away for life. You know, right now, things don't look so bad. Even though you ordered the hit on Panacetti and Sam Baylor, you didn't actually pull the trigger yourself. And as far as Kate is concerned, you don't have to worry about her because she's still alive. So that's only attempted murder. Of course, you might not like prison, Mrs. Hofstetter. They don't wait on your hand and foot. The days are long and the nights are longer. But with time off for good behavior, they can let you go in 60 or 70 years. And I'll be waiting for you when you get out. If I can wait that long. would be so happy. It's just a shame he couldn't be here to share it with you. A little time. I'll be all right. Too bad the young lady was hurt. Oh, she's going to be fine. At least she found out where the money went. These coins look so old. 1612. Do you think it's still worth anything? Mrs. Baylor, I suggest that you take these coins down to a coin dealer and have them transferred into regular currency. Mr. Hammer, hmm. I've kept a record of your hours. And at $10 an hour, it comes to $975. Don't worry, Mrs. Baylor. You take care of the funeral first. Well, I have to pay you when I can. Thanks. I'm sure I'll be hearing from you. What's your pleasure? Sorry, pal, I'm gonna pin into my name. One thing about empty pockets, they make you feel a lot lighter. It wasn't too long before I got a nice postcard from Mrs. Baylor. She was off the coast of Florida on a yacht. Hers. Maybe there's a little bit of justice in the world after all. 